Hello, this is Mike Radionov and here is my first tutorial about architectural visualization with Blender and Blender internal renderer. In this tutorial I will describe how to create this 10 uh, with Blender and Blender internal, how to render it and uh, how to get such smooth and realistic lighting this 10 is from Evermotion Arc Interiors Volume 8. This is 10, 10 from this volume. Here is the image of this 10 on the Evermotion.org. This image is rendered with a V-Ray and made with 3ds Max. So when I try to get a similar result, I wanted just to prove that it is possible to render a commercial interior with blender and blender internal so for you to compare please take a look this is a v-ray result made with 3ds max and v-ray and this is a blender result made with blender internal so i will divide this tutorial in three parts in first part we will set up the basic room, the basic lighting of interior scene. I will show you the light technique you, that I called fill lights. It's very useful and it allows us to get a really nice result with Blender internal. Then we will make a clay render of this ever motion scene. In the second part and then in the third part I will show you how to set up a uh, realistic materials for the architectural renderings so let's start and let's start from the basics let's start from the simple room okay I've already did it I've already set up this lights so I will hide them to another layer and then we'll add these lights to the first layer and describe the meaning of the each light okay so this is a basic geometry this is just a modified box I detached the ceiling and I placed some colored boxes to fake the reflected light color well let's take a look at the several interior images that, that I found over the internet to show you that using the ambient occlusion as a light source is not a way out to render realistic interiors with a blender so let's just take a look this is an interior rendered with ambient occlusion used as a light source it has lights and actual lights but it has an ambient occlusion instead of global illumination and these dark corners this unrealistic lighting is just because of the ambient occlusion and this is the ambient occlusion interior too it has the sunlight and it has the ambient occlusion and it looks fake the, this light is not realistic it is an ambient occlusion and it looks fair let's take a look at another ambient occlusion renderer so it doesn't look realistic it looks not good and this is the ambient occlusion in exterior the main mistake that blender users usually do is that they are trying to use ambient occlusion as a light source but ambient occlusion is not a light source and these images are illustrating that the result of using the ambient occlusion as a light source is 
fair. It looks weird and not realistic at all. And of course, these interiors render it with V-Ray that has global illumination method looks much better and this interior is of course looking much better the ambient occlusion interior too so blender does not have an indirect lighting out of the box right now it has cycles but cycles has uh, not finished it yet and uh, it would not be finished in the nearest time so let's use the blender internal and the method that i called a fill lights okay so let's add a sun to the scene and that's hit on render button just to show how it works yes it is the sun and no any reflected light oh yes i forgot to turn off the ambient occlusion by the multiply but yes i use ambient occlusion but not as a light source i use it as just a, as a pass to show us some details some to add shadows to the scene but not as a light source now i will turn it off and let's place the skylight simulator so this area light will simulate a skylight for our scene let's take a look at the result with the skylight it looks pretty good but we have a rendering without global illumination so what is exactly a global illumination global illumination is a mix of of uh, reflected light so when light comes from the window from the Sun it reflects from the walls from the floor from the cubes from the ceiling it mixes and then we have a reflected light so definitely we cannot see a reflected light we are when we are looking at the interior image when we are looking at the image we are looking at the average lighting we are not looking at the particular reflected lighting so here is a reflected light so let's take a look at this where is the reflected light here in this scene so when we are looking at the image we are not recognizing where is a reflected light or not so the reflected light is a just an average lighting of the room that is made of combined bones of light from the ceiling etc so let's make the average lighting of the room which will be made of reflected light from the ceiling the walls and the floor and the cubes okay let's go to the layer zero let's select the ceiling reflected light portal and move it to the layer number one okay now we have the light source which will simulate a, a reflected light from the ceiling for our scene let's take a look at the parameters of this light and of course of this light and of course of sunlight because uh, there are some small tricks that I should tell you before go to the next light and before proceed to the next things so let's take a look at the sunlight I turn it the energy of the sunlight from 1 to the 2 uh, just because of the Sun in real life is a really bright light source it's really bright so I decided that we should have it much more brighter than any other light in the scene so I made it the very bright so I made it a bit warmer than just white so I uh, scale it down 
the blue value from the RGB uh, value of this light so it became a bit warmer I turned on the ray shadow and since uh, the shadows from the sun are not absolutely uh, sharp they are smooth but they are not as smooth as from area lights from skylight but they are smooth so I set it the soft size is one meter and added uh, eight samples to the sunlight then let's go to the skylight skylight is uh, cold so I scale it down the red value of the RGB multiplier of this light and this energy is much lower than sunlight energy and the gamma of this light is scaled down from the default one value actually why I scaled the gamma because uh, this light will fill all of the room with this smooth cold light because uh, this light should simulate the skylight and then I turned on the ray shadow and uh, set it up the sampling let's talk about the samples the samples depends on the side length so if this length is more than this length this samples should be more than these samples and the proportion of the samples should be similar to proportion of the light scale so uh, let's proceed to the reflected light from the ceiling it is also a smooth light the gamma value is scaled down so it is uh, smoother than a uh, skylight this energy is scaled down because this is a reflected light and it is just a very very soft very very smooth light so it is not a actually light source in our scene it is a simulator of a reflected light the samples are set it up just like on previous light source so let's take a look at the result oh by the way the ceiling the ceiling is a separated object and uh, why just because this light this uh, light that sim will simulate the reflected light from the ceiling uh, has a ray shadow turn it on uh, just to simulate the soft shadows under the, the objects since we are not using the ambient occlusion we should have the so soft shadows under the objects and that is why I use it the ray shadow on this light but since this light source is standing out of our room uh, I separated the ceiling and place it into another layer and then I turn it on the ray shadow for this light and then uh, made this option active so this light will produce sh uh, shadows only from the first layer okay then let's take a look at the result yes it looks pretty good but uh, right now we have only a reflected light from the ceiling we have no reflected lights from the floor and from the walls so let's add the reflected light to the floor and the walls uh, here is the floor light portal let's place it to the first layer and let's take a look at this light settings it has no shadow uh, just because <laughs> we are not really have any shadows on the ceiling just there are no any shadows here and this is a v-ray rendering and we are not uh, have any shadows here this sh uh, these shadows are from the light that are standing out of the window so uh, there are no shadows from the floor reflected light so let's not use uh, shadows on the floor light portal and the gamma value is just the same as on the ceiling reflected light and the energy is a bit lower just because the floor is usually a darker than the ceiling uh, that I scaled it down uh, the temperature of the slide is 
warmer because usually the floor uh, surface is a warm surface just uh, is a brown here and it is a uh, wooden here so it's a warm surface a warm color but then that is why I scale it down the blue value of the RGB multiply for this light okay let's take a look at the rendering with floor reflected light yes the image becomes better this dark area is going out and uh, I think that we should add the wall reflected lights let's go to the layer with the light sources here are the wall reflected lights uh, actually this lights is uh, duplicated by alt plus D so object data yes I can select them with this option okay uh, actually the sizes of the slides are representing the uh, sizes of the walls uh, the sampling is uh, set up just similar to the skylight so if we have a long surface it will be more more samples if we have a short surface uh, of the light it will have less samples so let's take a look at this scene with wall lights yes it looks pretty good there is no ambient occlusion in the scene and there is no dark corners here uh, right now we have only a soft looking smooth light actually this light is pretty similar to this light well, well take a look but yes uh, when we are looking at the V-ray scene, there are an overbrighted area near to the window. Right here, right here, and uh, actually this overbrighted area is on the floor too. And we need to simulate this in Blender. So, uh, that is why I created this lights. This lights is a big spheres with a cold lighting so the RGB multiply of these lights is cold because I scaled down the red value the distance the distance of the lights is the actually the height of the room so using the smaller distance uh, will give us uh, fair results and using the bigger distance uh, will make the slides too bright so uh, this distance uh, that depends on the height of the room is very fine for this uh, lights okay let's take a look also this light has a uh, ray shadow just because if we will take a look at this rendering yes there is a smooth soft shadows from these overlighted on the v-ray rendering so if we are simulating the v-ray rendering we should have this ray shadow options and this ray shadow should be soft so uh, this is use the one meter and eight samples so let's take a look at the rendering and what we have yes we have an overlighted area on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floor, on our objects, but not very big. So, just like on the V-ray rendering, and it looks fine. Okay. And let's simulate uh, the reflected light that should be coming from the sun rectangle. So here is this light yes it is a warm light because uh, the sunlight is warm and its gamma is a bit scaled up 
just to make it more brighter to the light source because uh, since this light is simulating the reflected light from the sun rectangle this value should be a bit more actually uh, we should play with these values uh, these values should depend on the on the scene on the uh, our needs from this scene so just for this particular scene uh, I thought that this gamma value would be fine so let's take a look at this yes right now we have the reflected warm light from the ceiling from the walls from this yellow cube uh, and this light is going to the ceiling and a bit to the other scene looks pretty fine and then let's add a color bounce and light from the cubes well each cube has a light source without uh, ray shadows on it just to simulate the reflected color this reflected color should be simulated only from very deep colored surfaces so this is a deep blue and this is a deep uh, red this is a deep yellow so if the color of this object would be some kind of this we should forget about simulating the light the, the reflected light from this surface so since this surface is deep blue we should simulate the reflected light from the surface so let's take a look at the setup of this light so it's a cold it th this light is a cold the distance is about th three meters so not more than the room height well and it's a no any shadow so just light let's take a look at the render it image okay this is looks pretty fine just very similar to this take a look we have a bright area near the window we have a smooth light in the rest of the room we have a uh, reflected colors from the uh, deep colored surfaces well we have a color from the floor from the ceiling from the skylight well this is looks really like and it renders pretty fast okay so uh, let's add an ambient occlusion to this scene because right now we have uh, really nice result really nice very like result but i think that we should add an ambient occlusion just to make the co the corners more noticeable and just to add some geometry details to the scene because actually this very rendering is not very good b because the ambient occlusion is missing in this scene and that is why this scene looking uh, well looking flat to me so to make it deeper uh, it should have an ambient occlusion so right now our simple scene is looking flat to me and I think that we should add an ambient occlusion to the scene but not as a light source only as a multiply value of this scene so let's render it oh by the way the distance of the ambient occlusion should be the room height so our room height right there is three meters so ambient occlusion should be three meters too so let's take a look at the final result yes right now we have very nice result i think so we have accented corners but not very dark corners that it usually ambient occlusion light source does uh, we have the color from the cubes we have the color from the window we have the uh, over lighted area from the window and we have the 
accepted corners, accented small details like this corner that ambient occlusion gives. So let's wait until it renders to the final stage. Okay, it's done. And it took only one minute and 34 seconds to render this. This light is looking very similar to V-Ray. Just compare. We have over lighted areas near to the window. We have the reflected light from the floor. We have the reflected light from the ceiling. Well, and we have the reflected light from the deep colored surfaces like cubes that I choose for this scene. So this simple basic scene illustrates the method of the creating V-Ray like light set using Blender internal. And this is the end of the first part of this tutorial. In the next part we will make the clay render of this ever motion scene. And in the third the last part we will make the materials okay thank you for your time bye